Yeah, I mean, it feels like everything. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Padma Saki Mataji, for mm -hmm. giving your time oh, for this please. and uh, taking us to Zindavan virtually. Thank you so much. And we are on day three. We got to hear from you. Thank you, Mataji. Hey, Krishna Mataji, you put your camera like behind uh, uh, the middle of the painting. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Mm. So much better. Okay, we will go to day three today. Before going to day three, yesterday I found some interesting pictures. I'll show you that. From day one, we will see that. Um, okay. This picture. Radha Madan Mohan temple, we were discussing that salt merchant Ramdas Kapoor, he was the one who constructed um, who had, uh, the Madan Mohan temple. So his this is his murti. His murti was not like in, inside the temple, not like that. But his murti is, uh, here see a lot of water. Where is this water coming from? His grace Dinabandhu Prabhu posted. So it is very authentic if he posted because he, he is staying in Vrindavan for the last 30, 40 years. So he placed here, this is like whenever Madan Mohan's uh, temple room is washed, all the water will come. So near that place is Murti's place. Basically, he, he wanted his Murti there. His, his head always being, wa um, the water is coming and touching. Whenever the temple deities, they're clean, the water comes this way. And this is Ramdas Kapoor's Murti. See a lot of water. So, Mataji, where is, is this? I have never seen this. I also didn't see Mataji. First time I'm seeing Prabhuji went to Madan Mohan temple and he posted. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe we can write him. Where is this? So next yeah, time because we, we don't see. We just go around the temple and, you know. We, I, I will message Mataji in Facebook. Yeah. I'll ask you. Yeah. Thank you, Mataji. And all, this one also I have not seen Mataji in um, uh, Advait what? where Advaita Charya found Radha Madan Mohan temple. So these are deities, deities of Madan Gopal. Yes. But Radha Rani is in uh, Subalvesh. Like when she's always in Subalvesh? Uh, I don't remember, but I have seen the temple, Mataji. The, behind the Advaita what there is a nice temple uh, of, uh, I think, Radha, yeah, Radha Madan Gopal only. Yesterday only, my, yes, she is Radharani in Shubal, like Subal Shaka, Shubal Vesh. So, Ma Prabhuji has posted in one third picture um, in Kalia Ghat. Shamgauri Mataji or anyone else who have been there, did you see? I have not seen this also. I have been to Kalia Ghat, but I have not seen. Dauji is there with Nagapatnis and Krishna is dancing on Kalia. So, if anybody else is going from now, please uh, make sure in Kalia that you will see this DT. Um, there is temple, I think, right, Mataji? In yeah, in temple, Mataji. I don't remember seeing this. Okay. Yeah, okay, lots so of places, Mataji. Um, we need to discover, right? Yeah, yes, you sent some slowly. We'll, we'll tell Mataji. Today, we'll just see because time is less. We will see how much we can cover. Yeah, today we will uh, see the missing places from yesterday. Yes, yes. So and this, uh, Mataji, also there is a Brahmakunda. Brahmakunda later. is there, Mataji. Did you did you you did you show that? Brahmakunda where Govardhan? Uh, no, near Vanshivat. Yeah, this is uh, another one, I think, and. Uh, mm, it's like near Rangaji Mandir and um, Bilva Mangal Thakur uh, was staying there and also uh, Rupa Goswami has found Vrinda Devi's uh, Migraha in this uh, Brahma Kunda and uh, it's worshipped in Kamyavan right now. Yes, Mataji, in Kamyavan, we have never did in our Parikrama, but when I did the kids class, we, yes, Brahma Kunda, Rupa Goswami, I think that he gets a dream that uh, the deity is there. He will go and yeah, we this year, this year we will see when we go to Kamyavan. Yeah. I will add that Brahma Kundal. Yes, sir. thank you. Oh. Okay, okay. So we will go. 
So today is day three. Uh, we just touched Mathura yesterday and now we will be entering uh, Mathura, inside of Mathura. We will see how much we can cover. Okay. And we'll seek the blessings of Radha Sham Sundar, Sri Gornitai, Krishna Balaram, Srila Prabhupada, all the Guru Varkas and our dear Vrinda Devi and then we'll walk forward. We'll move forward. So where are we stopping? And we know Mathura is one of the Saptapuri. Moksha Puri, one of the Moksha Puri. Very, very important. Vishram Ghat, very beautiful. And actually, Mathura is in the shape of half moon. And on the border, there are 25 Ghats. So, a lot of Ghats in Mathura. And the first place we'll be going today is Gokarna Tirtha. So, this is the deity, Gokarna Mahadev. Most of us... Uh, Three, four years back, most of us don't know the story of Gokarna. But these days, everywhere, so many examples are saying the story of Gokarna. So most of you must be knowing. So, um, so Shiva is there in various places in um, uh, Vrindavan. He is a Kshetra Palak. So he is as in the south, he is Rangeshwar Mahadev. West, he is there like Bhuteshwar Mahadev. East, he is there Pipaleshwar Mahadev. And on the north side, is as Gokarna Mahadev. So why is he named as Gokarneshwar Mahadev? Because there was a devotee called Gokarna who was worshipping Lord Shiva. So he was named after his devotee uh, Gokarna, Gokar, like Gokarneshwar Mahadev. And Gokarna's Murti is also there. Gokarna's, and this is Gokarneshwar Mahadev. Very different deity. This is the entrance. So there was a Brahmin couple, uh, one name was Atmadev and Dunduli, and they didn't have children for a very, very long time. So one time a sage gives a fruit and um, so he'll say, eat this fruit and then you will bear a child very soon. But Dunduli was not very chaste or very humble. She was not like a devotee. So she didn't want to have children. She didn't want to listen. So what she did, she didn't eat the fruit. And her sister was pregnant the same time. And obviously she got worried. Oh, I didn't eat the fruit. And what will I tell to my husband? So her sister was pregnant the same time. And she didn't have enough money. She was not very rich. So the sister said, you don't worry. I will give my baby after I deliver. And what did they do with the fruit? They fed the cow. And uh, so her husband, Atmadev, was very busy. He didn't... Uh, after that, he didn't even pay much attention. And then slowly the sister delivered the baby and she gave to Dunduli. And of course, as we all know, when a child is born to a nice devotee mother, when the mother is in good consciousness, the kid is always very, it's like the kid will definitely be nice. But now the child who was born, he was not like raised, he was not in a good consciousness. So he he's like, he, was, he became very bad. Like his name was Dundukari. And the cow also, the cow also gave birth to a human baby, but the ears were so big like cow. Like that's why Karna is here. It's like cows, like the one who has ears like a cow. So Gokarna uh, was born to cow and Dundukari was born to um, this uh, Dunduli's sister. And Dundukari became so bad, so bad that he got all kinds of uh, intoxication he was into all kinds of bad habits and uh, he was troubling everybody and Gokarna was very very nice he was very nicely devoted and uh, seeing Dundukari his father was so disturbed and he left and only mother was there and one day Dundukari was so intoxicated that he followed his mother uh, like because he was intoxicated he didn't know what he was doing he was chasing his mom and then trying to beat her so mom was very scared and she fell in the well and she died so now uh, Dundukari kind of creating havoc in the village. Nobody is liking him and he will leave his body. When he leaves his body, he will become a ghost because he was not a good person. He became a ghost. And then everybody was worried about the ghost also now. Like Dundukari became a ghost, Dundukari became a ghost. Then his brother Gokarna will try to do something and he arranges a Bhagavat Sapta. And uh, Dundukari also is there like a ghost. 
I think in the banana stem he goes there and then inside the banana stem and then he keeps hearing to all the Bhagavad Sapta and Dundukari got liberated by hearing Bhagavad Sapta. That is the power of hearing Bhagavatam. This is a shortcut story. So uh, that's how Gokarna was a very, very uh, wonderful devotee. Uh, we'll see the Murti of Gokarna as well. And then Gokarneshwar Mahadev is also here. And then as we take the path, we will be going to Mahavidya Mandir, uh, Yoga Maya's temple. So this is the place where uh, the famous pastime, Nanda Maharaj and the snake pastime happened. You will not see the pastime, but it happened here. And the Maharaj was saved, saved from the snake. And then Chakratita, yeah. So Chakratita in, uh, and Ambarish Tila, they both are like close by because the pastime is same related, right? So when Ambarish Maharaj, we know like he was in Satya Yuga, he was a very great devotee and very big king, ruling all the seven uh, islands. But he was wonderful devotee, using all his senses only for Krishna. So he fasted for one year, uh, the Ekadashi Vrat. And when he was about to break, that is when Durvasamuni comes. And then they wanted to offer Durvasamuni something. But Durvasamuni said, you wait till I come. I'll go finish my rituals and come. But the auspicious time of breaking the fast is finishing. So Ambarish Maharaj will just take one drop of uh, water and Durvasamuni comes back he will see that and he'll get very upset like he'll get the angry how can you do this you disrespected me and he shows his anger and he'll take one hair from you know from locks of his hair and he will create a demoness called Kritya and uh, she will uh, and immediately Krishna Sudarshan Chakra actually cannot tolerate the devotee being troubled and the Sudarshan Chakra starts chasing the demon Kritya and uh, so, sorry, the demoness will um, become into ashes and then the Sudarshan Chakra starts chasing uh, um, Durvasamuni and Durvasamuni will go to Bhu, Bhuvar, Shivaloka everywhere and finally goes to Vishuloka and it's being a year. Ambarish Maharaj is still waiting for a year till uh, Durvasamuni comes back. He's praying for the welfare of Durvasamuni and Vishnu will say like, you have to go and fall on the feet of my devotee. And then um, Ambarish Maharaj actually, when he comes back and uh, tells like this chakra is Sudarshan chakra is following me Ambarish Mahar he will ask forgiveness from Ambarish Maharaj at this place Chakra Tita um, Ambarish Maharaj offers prayers and by his prayers chakra Sudarshan chakra stops here and when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes here he would take uh, bath here at Chakra Tita see this is the small lake here This is how you go. This is Ambarishtila. See, real Vrindavan, lot of money. So Ambarishtila is also here. Both are close by. This is Ambarishtila. And this is Chakratirta. And then we will come to Dwarakadish Mandir. So here there is Dwarakadish Mandir as well. I think it's built in 1800 something. I'm not remembering the year. But because Krishna stayed in Mathura for um, 18 years. And then uh, uh, they all moved to Dwaraka. Sham Gauri Mataji, you want to say that past time? Last two years she's only narrating for us. I think she's not there. Mataji. Yes, Mataji. You want to narrate the story again? Last two years you are only doing how overnight Dwarka was built and Matra Vasis have been transferred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. You know? <laughs> like um, when um, Kansa was killed, uh, after that, you know, uh, Ugrupin was the, the king and um, uh, Jarasandha. Um, uh, what was that? They jumped from the uh, they jumped from the high mountain, and by the time they jump, uh, they um, uh, Krishna informed Vishwakarma to build Dwarka. 
and overnight he builds dwarka and uh, this uh, brajavas uh, sorry maduravasis they don't know they were sleeping and uh, in uh, in when they were sleeping overnight they moved to uh, dwarka and when they woke up they were in dwarka and all their houses and everything was the same and even the um, pots and the plates and everything whatever in their house it, it was the same it, nothing was you know disturbed or anything just they, they just woke up and they were in dwarka that's how they went to all the mathura vasis they went to dwarka Yes, so because Krishna stayed in Mathura for um, 18 years and then left to Dwarka, so in the memory of Dwarka Dish, they kept um, Dwarka Dish here. It's like, if you want to go, you can purchase, like there are nice um, variety, like because now, see, my friends are going and they ask Mataji in Vrindavan, where can we buy nice, uh, you know, nice art pieces to keep in our home where can we buy so i was saying varkadish temple like we will get different different varieties of sales going on happening like we can buy and even in the temple also the temple construction is all like resembling rajasthani and jaipur style very beautiful construction and this is the close-up uh, and you will see inside radharani's deity is also there marble white marble deity is dwaradish but towards the side there is uh, Radharani also. It's a very close-up picture. Very old um, deity. Still a lot of shops near Dwarakadish temple. And after seeing Dwarakadish temple, we will go to Vishram Ghat. Very, very beautiful uh, Ghat, especially in the evening. Very nice. And uh, Vishram Ghat is the place. Vishram is what? Resting. So who rested here? Who rested here is Varaha. Varaha Dev. After killing Hiranya, uh, Hiranyaksha, he comes here. He sits here along with Bhumi Mata. And then uh, he, will, he will sit here and he will still start saying the glories of uh, uh, Vrajamandal to Mother Earth. So he will be talking to uh, Bhumi Mata, talking the glories and he takes rest here. And then, uh, because Lord took Vishranti here, it became uh, Vishram Ghat. And then even Krishna, after killing Kamsa, he will uh, come and take, uh, you know, clean himself. He'll come and take rest here. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, whenever he comes to Vrindavan, he would come to this place. And here, actually, I heard uh, somewhere, like one Prabhu was showing Parikrama, and he said, uh, the um, uh, kings, Kings all, when they, they used to do their final rites here, it seems. I don't know if that is true or not. But that Prabhu is also very, uh, every year he will be showing Vrindavan Parikrama picture. So he was mentioning that it late became Vishram Ghat, but before they used to do that. And then here one very special deity we will see, Yama and Yamraj temple. They both are brother and sister, right? So the only temple, if as far as I know, that we have here, uh, we have in uh, uh, Mathura. Nowhere else we will see Yama and Yamuna temple. And uh, here on um, uh, Raksha Bandhan, um, they, uh, they, the brother and sister come and take bath here because Yamuna, she takes promise from Yamaraj that whoever is taking bath on, 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 in my river on that day, they should not see you. In fact, first she will ask whoever takes bath in my river should never um, come and um, see you. Then he will say, oh, how is that possible? So she will say, at least on that one day, whoever is coming and taking bath in my river, my waters, please don't like you, don't go to them. So Maharaj will say, uh, okay. And uh, that's why on that day, we will see so many um, Brothers and sisters come and take bath. Yama and Yamuna. One day, why, why Yaman, Yamade, Yamraj gave that boon? Because uh, one day she, she he will come, brother comes to sister's home and then obviously mother, mother said coming. The, the girl is little more, uh, she's so attached, right? She cooks lots of varieties from Yamaraj for Yamaraj and then she feeds him and then he's so pleased and he will ask, what do you want? So she will give that bone. 
uh, he will give that food. So very, very nice darshan. Oh, sorry. Mataji, if you don't mind, today can we end here? I, it's 9, 10, I need to go sure, today. Mataji. Yes, Mataji. I, I just wanted to say like, you know, the uh, uh, Diwali is for five days, right? So after Gordon Puja, the day comes is like Baiduj. Baiduj. Yeah, so on the Baiduj day um, is the, we have celebration like Rakhi, we have. Rakhi. Mm -hmm. Like that, we have that day also. Diwali is like uh, bigger in Maharashtra. Rakhi is less. So, but um, for that, the, all sisters, they come to brother's place and they will get saris and a lot of gifts and they they do RT for brother and so many things. And uh, that is the Baiduj day. And on that Baiduj, uh, if uh, brother and sister, they take a bath on the Yamuna River together, um, they don't have to see the face of Yamaraj. Yes, Mataji. But very, very nice temple. Vishram Ghat in Yama Yamuna temple. Please don't forget to visit if you ever go. And if you can go in Kartik month, it will be nice. You can go with your brother. <laughs> go there and take bath. I'm so sorry today. I'm uh, stopping it early. But tomorrow is day four. Ma Madhuvan, we have very little to cover. So we'll join from here and come. Yes, Mataji. Sure. Thank you also. So we with this, Yama, Yamuna, yeah, we'll stop here and we will continue from here tomorrow. Thank you so yeah. much. All of you, we'll see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Shirinda. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna.